We're here in New Delhi at the launch of the Lamborghini Huracan STO, the most extreme version of the Huracan yet, and that points to a new breed of customers that likes to take their car to the track. Now to tell me more about this is the head of Lamborghini India, Mr. Sharad Algarwal. Nice to see you again, Sharad. Same here, Gavin. Lamborghini has always had those customers that uh, increasingly drive their cars more and more, but track use, is that uh, something that's been increasing over the years? Yes, I think we are seeing an increasing trend among our customer base and also prospect base in India, where we are seeing more and more people are now looking to take their cars on the race tracks in India. We have two race tracks, one in Delhi and one in Chennai. And recently we also have a new track which is opened up in Indoor, though it is not a race track, but it is a test track. But yes, it does give an opportunity for customers to enjoy their cars in a very different environment. And what we are seeing in past few years that there are customers who are coming for the programs which are being run by various OEMs, there are private clubs who are organizing these track days, and more and more customers are forming their own small groups and coming to race tracks with their cars because they want to enjoy the performance and experience of these supercars in a race track environment. And we are seeing this trend growing in the country. That's great to know. Good prospects for the STO. But speaking of the STO, uh, many have wondered, is this uh, a direct continuation of the Performante, which of course was became quite popular uh, during its time. Is this a continuation of that or is this something entirely different? I think this car has been designed with a very different purpose. The Huracan STO comes with a singular purpose that we want to bring the feel and the technology of a true racing car in a race, uh, in a street homologated model for our customers, wherein the Huracan Performante was conceptualized with a purpose to give you the best performance to the customers driving on the road and also the best performance on the track. So while yes, this car is homologated for street use, but we have put all our experience and expertise behind this car from the success what Lamborghini has in the motorsport arena to create a genuine sport car which can give a racing emotions and experience to our customers in the country. Do you expect that there will be more uh, models in this role uh, in the future of Lamborghini, in sort of a track-bred, more track-focused role? So in Lamborghini, we always believe in bringing the futuristic design, technology, and creating products which can enhance the experience of our customers. Now, there are different set of customers who have different needs, okay? This is the fifth model within the Huracan family. We have the Huracan all-wheel drive and the rear-wheel drive and both in Coupe and the Spider version. And now we have the Huracan STO, which is looking at customers who are looking for a racing car experience in the real life and which they can enjoy it on the racetrack and look at clocking the best lap timings. And uh, this is going to create a lot of excitement and a lot of new experiences, very distinctive racing experience for these set of customers in our country. And with this range, we look forward that this is going to bring the expectations uh, aligned for these customers with this new Rakan STO. Okay, now if I may just ask you a little bit more uh, about the current situation. And we've just, we're just on our way out of a second wave here in India and it hit everybody very hard. Uh, I know it uh, caused delays across the board, uh, but Lamborghini came in strong first with the rear wheel dive uh, spider of the Huracan and now this two launches very close together. Um, tell us a little bit about how that's been, how the recovery has been and um, what, what we can expect next from Lamborghini India. So yes, we know that pandemic has hit the uh, business and uh, the country in a big way in 2020. And uh, what we started seeing that in 2020 since September, a positive recovery. It's a V-shaped recovery which, were, which we were witnessing in the segment. And if you look at the business performance from the October to March 22-21, vis-a-vis October to March 2019-20, to 20, now these were the period when uh, there was no pandemic. You know, We have clocked plus 20% in terms of our new order intake. And this time we were again hit with the second wave uh, in the month of March and April. And what we are seeing in the market that the recovery is much faster. I think this is driven by two factors. One, the customers are now getting more aligned with the new scenario, with the new uh, environment, what we have around with this virus. But at the same time, the strong vaccination drive, what we are seeing from the government, which is giving the confidence that yes, there can be possible third wave or the fourth wave, but with this strong vaccination drive, we can minimize the impact on human lives. 
and this is pushing the recovery much faster this time. Uh, second part of your question that what new we can expect, yes, we are always committed to bring new excitement and new models to the market. We are starting this second half of the year with the launch of this beautiful Urakan STO, a very unique uh, value proposition what we are bringing to our customers and you will see in coming months we'll bring a lot more new models to keep on continuing the excitement to drive our future growth and business in the country. That's fantastic here. And one final thing, uh, on, the, on the global front, Lamborghini has mentioned that its future is now moving towards electrification, uh, and that's a big mission statement from a brand like Lamborghini. Uh, it's coming, we're all expecting it, but how do you think that will fit into the Indian scenario, and are we ready for it yet, uh, the customers of Lamborghini here in India? Yes, we recently announced our strategy 2030, wherein we have said that the current model range, what we have, will be electrified. So we will have hybrids, uh, by 2024 on the three models what we have uh, today and uh, we have also announced that during the second half of this decade Lamborghini is going to introduce the fourth model which is going to be the fully electric model but at the same time we have also committed ourselves to remain true to our DNA the top performance from our cars the driving dynamics and the emotions what Lamborghini bring to our customers will always remain as a part of our products what we are bringing in future and with this new technologies, we are going to create similar experience and the performance from our cars will be on the topmost priority for us. Fantastic. Lovely to talk to you as always and all the very best with the STO and future models. Thank you so much. Thank you.